Hello everybody, today I'm going to be making a tutorial for Deep Storage Plus. It's been a while since I've done my last one, about two years. It's about time to make an update. To start off, you're going to want to download it from the Deep Storage Plus plugin page. You're going to need this dependency, Custom Recipe API, from this link here. Download that as well. You're going to want to put both of those plugins into your plugin folder on your server, restart your server, and you're all good to go. The command you're going to want to need to know, you're going to need to know, is crappy. The first one, however, is Workbench. This is the recipe for the custom crafting table that you need to make all the rest that, that allows you to make all the recipes in Deep Storage Plus. It takes four blocks of iron, four glass, and a diamond block. After you craft this, you will no longer be needing the, the crafting table. You'll be using this one and this one alone. You can put it in any direction. I put it upwards because it looks better. Personal preference. Next up, you're going to want to craft the deep storage loader. This lets you create a deep storage unit. This takes four iron ingots and another quartz. It'll put it into your inventory automatically. You'll find an empty double chest and you'll right click it. The deep storage unit will have been created as you can see here. You have a bunch of empty space, some DSU walls, and a couple empty storage blocks. We also have DSU IO configuration, which I'll be getting into later. Next on the list is the storage cells. There are a bunch of different types of storage cells, but to craft the higher ones, you need the lower ones. The 4K takes the 1K, 16K takes the 4K, so on, all the way up to 1 million. The more you go, the more items they can hold. The storage cell isn't all you need, though and I won't be crafting them anymore because it takes time, you'll have to do it yourself. The storage cell is not the final step. You can't put these into your DSU, you have to craft the container. These are what hold the items. As you can see here, the 1K can hold up to a thousand items in seven different types. The 1 million can, can hold up to a million items in seven different types. So, the higher you go, the more it can hold, but the more expensive the recipes get. I'll be starting with the 1K just for the purpose of the tutorial. Now that we have our storage container, we can start putting items into it. As you can see, we have now filled up our types. We can hold seven different types of items and a thousand items in total. Once we've filled up our types, we can no longer put any more types in. However, as you saw, we can put more items in of the same type until it fills up. Next, I'll be talking about input and output in the Deep Storage U configuration. In here, we can sort by container. So this means in what order the containers appear, as you can have up to five of them. You can sort by alpha which sorts the items in alphabetical order. Now I have bedrock, cobblestone, deep slate, etc. You can sort by amount. Oops, didn't mean to type that. You can sort, sort by amount. So 300 cobblestone, 200 deep slate redstone, 128, etc. And you can sort by ID, which is the default. This is how they appear in the creative inventory, in order. Next up is the lock. Say you're on a multiplayer server, well, you will be on a multiplayer server, and you, and you want to allow your friend to access your deep storage unit, you can simply type their name, and they'll now be added to your deep storage unit. You can unlock it by right-clicking it, everybody can now access this, and you can lock it again by left-clicking it and adding your name. For the input and output, say I want to input uh, cobblestone. As you can see, the cobblestone goes in, but say I only want to allow red sand to come in, I can click input, red sand. As you can see, the cobblestone is no longer coming in. If I were to take some red sand, however, it would come in. You can remove the filter by clicking on the item and exiting the inventory. You can do the same for output and output cobblestone, for example. Close the inventory to update the settings. 
as you can see, cobblestone is now being outputted. Next up is the wireless terminal. To craft that, you're going to want the wireless receiver, and then you're going to want to craft the wireless terminal. It's not a cheap recipe, so you'll need to be quite far on in, to craft it. Again, I'm going to cheat it in for the t purpose of this tutorial. Now that you have your wireless terminal, you can right-click on a DSU to link it. As you can see, we have now linked it. It is at those coordinates in that world, and I can access it from a maximum of 500 blocks away. This max distance can be configured in the configuration. If you want to unlink it, simply click Shift and swap hands, and it will unlink it. Something I forgot to mention earlier is the convenience of having these items in the deep storage unit. As you can see, this container might be here, but I can take it out and move it to a different one. Very easy. Next up, well, I'll elaborate on the deep storage unit, the wireless terminal. I can take items out here, for example. I can put items in. And it'll update here. Very easy. Next up is the sorter. To craft that is four iron ingots and a gold ingot. This allows you to sort different DSUs without having to deal with hoppers. Simply create the deep storage sorter by right clicking on an empty double chest and you can add your deep storage unit links. To do that, you'll need a link module. Recipe is fairly simple. Craft your link modules. Right click your DSUs with the link module. You can right click a different DSU if you want to relink it, as seen here, and simply put them into your deep storage sorter. Now that they are in, I want to be sorting for cobblestone. And I want to be sorting for, does one have grass? It doesn't have grass, okay. And I want to be sorting for grass. They have 384 grass, 84 cobblestone. In they go. They are gone. 148 cobblestone, 448 grass. Another cool feature about this is that you can link sorters together. Say you run out of space, I can link this sorter together. Now, if I want to link now if I want to sort cobblestone and grass, I simply put them in the link sorter, and there they go. That pretty much does it for this tutorial. Let me see if I've forgotten anything. I have speed upgrades. Uh, they're not super useful. They can increase the speed of hoppers going in and out of uh, deep storage units. So say I wanted to output cobblestone faster. Output cobblestone. Now it's going out a little quicker. But you see the limit is the hopper. It doesn't it doesn't go into this chest at the same speed. Unfortunately. But there you have it. That about that about does it. If you have any questions, join my Discord server and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks so much.